So in this video, I'm going to be telling you nine important skills that you need to learn in your country before coming into Canada. Because guess what? If you learn these skills, it's going to save you money and it will also make you money. These are very important skills. I know you're coming to Canada to get good prospects. You're coming with your degree. You're coming to school. You'll get a good job. Life will be sweet and life will be everything. But then you need to make money, right? And you want to make money outside the job that you're doing. And also you want to save costs because if you do not save costs, all of the money that you make from your one million dollar job will also go down the drain so let's watch this video to the end the first skill that i'll be talking about today is sewing <laughs> my people if you want to make good money in canada apart from the regular job that you're doing or even if you don't have a job do you know you can get good money from sewing sewing is very important here they do not have people who sew clothes for them here in canada did i just say only sewing and making new clothes what about amendment what if you come from your country and your clothes do not fit anymore and you want to amend it what if you buy some clothes from the store because you like the clothes and the clothes are too big or too tight for you and you want someone to amend it how would you do it would you just dump a cloth because it doesn't suit you anymore when you can just make little alterations and then you can go ahead to put on the clothes sewing is big money here in canada do you know for you to amend just a zipper just to change the zip of your clothes do you know you can be charged as high as 15 dollars just to change only a zipper let alone sewing clothes this is very very good business there are some people here what they do they sew clothes and then they bring the clothes here to canada like this nigerian native clothes and also some are from uh, ghana clothes some are also pakistan and india clothes they sew those clothes in their home country and i don't know how come they do ship it down here and then they start selling it these are big big money they sell these clothes for why some bring out time to use their machine and sew these clothes people come to them they take measurements and then they sew these clothes because there might be sometimes they need to wear african clothes or they need to wear their traditional clothes to some certain functions and they want to dress appropriately so please if you want to know how to make money in canada learn sewing if you can whether you are a man or you are a woman learn sewing in your country before coming down to canada it will save you money because you'll be able to amend all of your clothes and you can make some clothes for yourself and for your family and it will also make you money as well because you make money from others when you amend their clothes and when you sew their clothes number two on my list is hair making hey <laughs> my goodness hair making when i landed new in canada so i was very quick and eager to make my hair so i contacted someone to make my hair can you imagine cornrows that i make by myself is 50 dollars let alone people who do uh braids ghana weaving all of that one will cost you nothing less than 150 dollars yes you heard me 150 dollars for you to make braids for you to make ghana weaving or all those extension stuff but if you want to do like natural hair all back 10 11 12 pieces and that's it you will charge 50 dollars so imagine if you have that skills imagine if you have that skills and you get to make regular corn rolls you know for two people in a day and you make like hundred dollar hundred dollar aside the job you are doing or even if you do not have a job lots of kids here in canada i will talk mostly about african kids african kids from nigeria and ghana this case goes to school their parents want them to look good their parents do not even have time to make their hair because both parents are working so most weekends they look for people who can make hair for these kids and they pay as high as 50 dollars every weekend for their children this is a very very important skills right it's going to save you money and it's also going to help you to make money if you can make hair for yourself sometimes you can make your hair by yourself you can make corn rolls or whatever thing you want to make on your hair that is really good deal on that note i will be speaking on the male part which is the barbing of the hair that would be my point number three if you know how to barb hair man or woman hey <laughs> this is very important so my son needed to cut his hair for the first time when he arrived in canada his hair was bushy you know because of the weather when you're combing the hair he's crying so i took him to the salon <clears throat> when i got to the salon the first thing they said was do you have an appointment hey i say appointment Qua appointment because i want to buy my son's hair they say eh, you need to make an appointment you need to book an appointment before you cut the hair and after that yeah you need to pay 17 dollars hmm? 
17 dollar my son's hair grow as fast as a woman's hair my son's hair grows so fast so it means basically i cut his hair every weekend worst 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 i cut his hair every two weekends so you can imagine if i start paying 17 dollar every two weekends just to have my son's hair cut and it just doesn't end there i will need to book an appointment so you can imagine if you or your husband knows how to Cut hair. Then you can go ahead, get a clipper, and barb your son's hair or cut your son's hair rather <laughs> every weekend or every two weekends as the needs arise. And then other families can come to you. I mean, instead of them going to the salon, pay $17, you can charge them as low as $10. But remember, if your business is not registered, that should be low profile. So you should do it for just family and friends and people that you know. So you cannot go and put adverts on the street. I cut hair when you do not have a license unless you want to make it big and official then you can go ahead to get a license for that but otherwise you can do it at the comfort of your home or you can do it at home service save money make money while building your career and while working so the fourth point that i'll be talking about is driving oh my goodness driving is very very important here in canada driving is very important for everybody in canada because now i know the importance of mobility you guys have been watching my videos right you see me the way i walk you see me the way i trek 15 minutes 12 minutes to get to the location where i need to take a bus driving is very very important so if you have driving as a skill back home before coming to canada it's going to save you cost it's going to save you cost because you're going to save money and you're going to also make money okay so you won't need to be taking taxis you won't need to be entering buses you only just need to fuel your car and drive to whatever place that you will go into okay so some time ago when my husband was applying for jobs like he was looking for jobs he saw this job on the internet and he applied for it although he didn't take the job finally because he got something else so it was from the canada post so the canada post they call it part-time job so the part-time jobs are for people who have cars of their own and during their spare time their job is to go to um each PO box, like they will go to the uh, Canada uh, postal stand, get all the letters there, and dispatch it to the various owners. Okay, so they will go to the main Canada post where people throw in their letters. They will empty the box, and then based on the address that is written on those uh, letters or on those posts, they will now go and take those posts to the owners or uh, the people that own it. Nobody supervises you. You are your own boss. You'll be paying like twenty-eight dollar per hour this is very good and not just 28 dollar per hour if you can also mention like how many posts how many letters how many mails you were able to uh give to the owners that would also go a long way apart from that you can also do delivery you can do delivery for uber eats you can do delivery for other services that need people to deliver items to owners or people who purchase things for them my friends driving is very very important i will always say it's going to save you money and it's also going to make you money point number five painting okay so <laughs> with this one let me just tell you guys now i will tell you guys what happened so when i came into canada newly i told you guys that i was staying in the sharing room right so the lady that left the sharing room where i was in she's actually from togo so she's africa so she used um a magnetic hanger on the wall you know why you put a magnetic hanger on the wall because you maybe you want to hang something there so uh when she was moving out so that i can move in she needed to take off the hanger so when she took off the um magnetic hanger the paint on the walls pulled out with the hanger so the owner of the house told her that she has to paint the room before i moved in they called someone to come check it out and estimate how much it will cost and the person said four hundred dollars to fix it and we were like what four hundred dollar to fix just a small hole that is not even as maximum two by two inches two by two inches and then the man went ahead to say yeah that he will need to paint the entire wall he will need to paint the entire wall of just that um, north side you know the room is usually four corners like four walls he need to paint the entire one wall for four hundred dollars so you can imagine if my friends knows how to paint or you can imagine if me myself know how to paint my dear i will paint that room for half for just hundred did i say hundred dollar i will paint that room for half or even fifty dollar or she herself would have done it by herself and save herself the cost or i would have done it for her and made money but none of us could so she went ahead and paid the 400 and the room was painted i waited for the room to get dried before i move into it painting is very good business please guys 
if you know how to paint please learn how to paint if you don't know how to paint learn how to paint before coming to canada if you know how to paint when you come into canada let people know people will stay around you people will live around you let them know that you know how to paint so that when your services is needed they will call on you and point number six is all about plumbing and piping plumbing and piping looks like a general job that anybody can do but no trust me guys it's not as easy as you guys think because it would only take a professional a few minutes to resolve issues okay so most times we might be in our homes and we might have a clogged toilet or we might have a clogged sink our husbands will do everything they can with what we can as well and we won't be able to fix it we end up spending money here in canada most times to call plumbers to come fix the damages in our pipes because sometimes when you keep calling the estate agents that give you a house they keep telling you yeah we are going to raise a ticket for that and we'll send someone but they don't send anyone so at the end of the day you end up doing this thing by yourself not really by yourself but by yourself in the sense that you will need to call in a plumber to come fix it if you can do that by yourself i mean it will save you money because you wouldn't need to call a plumber to come fix the plumbing issues you have in your house and you can also make money if your friends or families call you that they have plumbing issues you know people who know you that you can do this kind of thing they can call you and you can go ahead and make some money as well so that will bring me to the next point which is a handyman a handyman is very handy why is it called a handyman it is called a handyman because they are very handy they can be called at any time to do small small things in the house or small small things for you these people are technical inclined some people are born with it why some people learn it i'll give you a story of when i was moving into my new apartment so when i was moving into my new apartment the apartment didn't come with um window blinds so i needed to get window blinds for my living room and also for my bedrooms so i went to home depot and i bought some uh, window blind that's the plastic pvc's um, window blind and they were like would you need someone to fix it i said no don't worry my husband is going to fix it but if i'm going to fix it well, what's going to be the cost they said it would take 200 dollars for them to come fix the three window blinds and also for transportation and they will also deliver as well i had the price 200 i know how much i paid for the three pvcs for the three blinds i said don't worry my husband will go to fix it and that was how i got home so when i got home i was thinking it's something you would just use nail and hammer to do i don't know it's something you will use a drill okay so my husband was like no problem this is this is easy peasy <laughs> easy fix is like a kid's call it so the next thing was to look for driller right so we're able to get driller from a friend if i tell you guys what, <laughs> if i tell you guys what happened my husband used driller to put hole 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 <laughs> my husband used driller to fix hole 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 my husband basically spoiled the wall of that house like he kept drilling holes and holes and holes and holes everywhere <laughs> he couldn't fix the he couldn't fix the um light at the end of the day <laughs> oh my goodness at the end of the day i had to go on to facebook and type handyman i was able to get a handyman who finally came to fix the window blinds for us remember uh, um, when i went to the home department they told me they would cost me for like about 200 dollars to fix everything so i got a handyman who did everything for me for just 100 dollar so he took just half of the price because the handyman doesn't have a store he doesn't have a shop he is not registered he's doing it for himself to make more money right so you can imagine if my husband can do this can you can imagine he would have saved us hundred dollar hundred dollar is big money here in canada like it can do a great deal for me so yeah so if you can learn some small small things like that it's really good and um you can also do me well do yourself well to get the equipment bus you know the toolbox that has your driller your spanner your hammer and every other thing that will be required for such uh kind of fixing so number eight is photography ah my people if you want to see photography calm down come to africa oh sorry with your respect like i'm not being biased about other countries but if you want to take good photos come to nigeria man you need to see the kind of professional pictures that nigerians are taking pictures here are not nice like if you take a pictures here they are not as nice as the pictures we take back home i don't know if it is from the camera or these people are not experienced and then they charge you big money for you to take photos the other day i needed to go to staples to take a photograph and when i went to take a passport just to take two passport pictures i paid as high as 25 dollars 
for just two pictures just two photos so you can imagine if you have a camera and you can take passport photos for people and then you charge them half of the price of what they will pay outside you will make more money if i have a camera i can do that i can do that by myself i'll also save myself money you see so this is also good business so these people what they do they go to birthdays they go to parties they go to functions and they make good money by taking for taking photographs of people taking passports of people printing videography and all of that this is very good if you have good skills if you know how to do this please take advantage of these skills do not let it go down the drain and finally let's go to the eating part catering services if you know how to cook if you know how to bake if you know how to do all this uh, culinary stuff really it's very good here in canada especially if you have kids if you have kids and your children need to go to school you don't need to be buying all those snacks from walmart all the time you know for your kids to go to school to put in their lunch bags bake your cake bake your meat pie do all the baking your, your kids needs to take to school do all the bakings and all the stuff your family needs at home to eat for the weekend those african dish those continental dish those asian food that your family like do it for them not every time you're buying for them outside sometimes or going on a treat as well you can also provide this food for other people because most people from other countries would like to eat their cultural food but they do not have the restaurant that provide their cultural food so you can imagine if you tell them that you can prepare their cultural food they would like to have that treat once in a week twice a week and on and on like that <sighs> i've talked so much i really did not know that this video will be this long but thank you guys for watching this video till this time please remember to subscribe like and share these videos and i'll see you in my next video and as always always drop your comments your suggestions what do you think if you have any other skills that you think you have and um it will be beneficial to people also drop that in the comment section as well so that everybody can learn because my platform is not just a platform where i made vlogs for people to learn i can also learn from you and through the comment section we all learn from each other so guys i'll see you in my next video take good care and bye but if I lay down and I